Hey, yo, what up, YouTube? <laughs> it's your boy Cinco, back with another one. We in the lab, cooking up a little position. Actually, it's crazy that we talk about this right here because uh, I've been cooking this position for about two days now. And if you've been following my page at all, you know that. I'm not typically a swing trader. I don't I don't swing trade. I usually get in and out. I scalp the markets uh, pretty quick to, you know what I'm saying, make decisions in and out. However, I'm in this US 30 position. I've been listening to Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas. And I've been involving as a trader. I've been growing. My my mentality has kind of I'm trying to I'm trying to change and evolve. Uh, for the better, of course, just trying to figure out ways to, you know what I'm saying, become the best trader that I can possibly be. Um, so currently right now, I'm actually holding a US 30 trade that I've been sitting in for about two days now. Um, I've been sitting in US 30 longs, um, trying to catch a nice push towards all time highs. Um, and not even really all time highs. My target is a little bit below that. Um, so I'm just trying to keep my eye on the target. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to keep laser beam eyes, tunnel vision on the target, not trying to, you know, trying to stay clear of all the other distractions and bullshit that come along, uh, with this position. And there has been some bullshit, but for the most part, it's been smooth sailing. Um, which is why I've been comfortable enough to hold this as long as I have. Uh, I'm gonna break it down for y'all here in a second on these charts. But first, let's get into the intro. All right, so we're looking at US 30 on the H2 time frame. Now, this is exactly why I took the trade. Um, this setup is built off of a clear like market structure um, target that I'm looking for. As far as you see how this price level was first resistance here, it was resistance here. And price ended up coming to this level, it broke out. Price did a small, slight retest, but you got your initial, pretty much your real breakout was right here. So this leg created your breakout. So you got one beautiful push. Price ended up coming back to retest right here. So you get your retest at this major level here. Uh, that was once resistance. Now it's going to act as support here. You got your area of support. It held. Price did, did it, it, get, it did provide a bounce. However, that bounce failed. And price broke that level of support. Broke this level of structure here. Support, support. It broke it with this major push to the downside. However, price has not since then retested this level here. As you can see, the, all this price action consolidation looked like price was trying to hold us some support. I hear we're going to get a push back into that level. It didn't. It failed and price continued to sell off. Now, price has then now created this wave of where price looks like it's trying to get back to this level. This level is still untested, people. Like I said, this is an H2 time frame. These levels are pretty substantial and pretty relevant. Now, this level has not been retested since this breakout. With that being said, this breakout, I initially expect price to get to this level and most likely res uh, meet some type of resistance. So once price hits here, you might get some type of fall off, sell off um, at price action that I don't really want to be involved in at that point. Um, if, the, if that does take place, because at that point you can look at price possibly making a bigger leg to break down further past these lows here. So we don't want to see that. I don't want to see that price action. If price does, like I said, retrace back into this key level, I want to pretty much look to exit the position and take profits or at least secure my profits. So we do have this all time high here, this level here, which I could also be targeting for my second TP, which I actually am because if price were to break through this initial take profit level with volume, with force, um, and you were to get a nice solid breakout and then we got a nice retest of this level here, price held as support. It shows some support tendencies and price action. 
and then price continued to go to all time highs, I'm all for that. And I would love to catch that position and that setup. And at that point, if price were to do that and make that type of price action, my stop loss would then come here. I would move my stop into profit. Bring this so you guys can see. I would move my stop into profit here. And like I said, I will use this level, this area as uh, my area of support. So if price were to break through that and retest, I don't want to see price breaking too much below this level here um, without going to break all time highs and create new highs. Because um, if we do get to this and we get this breakout and price comes back to retest and then price starts selling off from this level, you could be looking at a fake out and price ends up just, you know, selling off. And which again, I don't want to be involved in that market. So that's why I would want to take my profits right here at this level. Um, and like I said, if we get this breakout and price does come back to retest, everything here is secure. So that's pretty much, like I said, securing damn near everything that I wanted to secure here on this take profit. However, I was able to leave my options and opportunities open to catch more. Um, and that's the way I'm going about the swing trade. Like I said, until price action shows me any um, otherwise, any, you know, anything that I should, you know, be wary of as far as that will make me want to exit the position. Currently, price has not done that. Like I said, on this H2 time frame, price action has done nothing but go in our favor. And this even in this consolidation pullback has not pulled back far enough to threaten us to where I feel like I would need to exit the position. So right now we're just going to hold strong, sit on my hands. I'm going to probably go play some Fortnite, <laughs> uh, something of the such, and, you know, just go about my day. Okay, so this was the trading view, mind you. We're just looking at trading view chart right here. Now, this is my terminal on Trade Locker here. As you can see, this is a live account live account all live accounts okay and as you can also see here like i said these are two us 30 buys 0.5 lot size a piece and as you can see here i am floating currently 287 and counting at the moment in profit and equity at the moment, if I were to close these trades out completely, I would be sitting on 354, 355-ish here. And you can see the balance before these trades was only $66.87. Um, it does not take a lot of money to make some decent money in these markets. Um, a lot of people could, you know, you could do a lot with this type of money. Not buying a Lamborghini, but you can definitely go grocery shopping. You can definitely go on a nice little date night. You can definitely pay an electricity bill. You can pay a phone bill. You can pay a cable bill. Um, there's a lot of bills that I can name off right now that you can <laughs> that you can do with that. Um, so it doesn't take a lot of money to be able to make money in these markets. Um, you just got to know what you're doing. You got to have the skill set to be able to find the trades, the positions, um, and the psychology to be able to hold the positions and to execute and to actually make money from the positions uh, by managing with your trade style, your trading technique, or however you go about the markets. So, um, yeah, this is just proof to y'all that this is real. This is very, 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 very real. <laughs> make sure you let me know down in the comments. Let me know if you actually caught this setup. If you're catching the US 30, if you're in US 30 longs right now and you're eating, let me know. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if you're getting cooked. <laughs> let me know if you're using US 30 shorts and you know what I'm saying? You you saw price action in a different way, which is, hey, it's all great because you can, everybody's going to see the chart differently. There's nothing wrong with that. And we all make mistakes. It just happens sometimes, you know, there's winners and losers. But if you were on the losing end of this trade, let me know down in the comments. Um, I just want to know what everybody's trading, how, how is everybody's trading week going? This is pretty much a week coming to a conclusion. Um, this is about to be the, it's Friday, y'all. It's Friday. Are y'all withdrawing? Anybody making a withdrawal today? Is anybody making a withdrawal? Anybody, you know, paying themselves? 
you might eat, you know what I'm saying? Taking a little something off the top, a little something off the, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what it is. Just let me know down in the comments. Uh, like the video. Make sure you click subscribe for more content. It all helps the algorithm so you can get some more of this. Um, but until the next video, y'all, peace.